What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here since I'm be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Here's the situation. Listen, if you heard something in the back, that is Ryan. He's practicing his DJ moves. So basically he's got two records on a table and he's trying to scratch is what you hear, that noise, that zzzz, that's him playing the record backwards. So if it sounds a little bit awkward, just realize that he's in the back trying to prep himself properly for a bar mitzvah. We're back again with fucking eye joy. Here we go. God, I love it. There he goes. Him? That's him on the, on the mic. Uh, I don't know how we're back here again. I don't know how we got here. Ever since the original Capo, I've kind of dreaded this company. I think I did something after the whole squonker, not quite sure. Don't really remember because I do so many damn reviews, I always forget what it is that I'm doing. So when I originally saw this, I believe there was pictures of like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Porsches. That might have been the original 100 watt squonker. Regardless, needless to say, I think the G-Box 150 is what I'm thinking of, but that has got the same type of scenario. These boxes on a side... There goes Ryan again. Uh, these boxes on a side-by-side, -side, you think he would find a better time to practice DJ Scribbles. When I first saw this, the first thing I thought of was like, okay, that's a G-Box clone, because that's literally what it looks like. So I am going to put this side-by-side -side just because the screen seems so transparent and so much attempt at being identical. Granted, there are differences between the two. Bottles are different. This removes the whole possibility of your batteries flying out when you change a bottle. They fixed what a lot of geek vape should have done with their G-Box squonker. So without further ado, fucking Ryan with this, God. Like, put the records down, Ryan. Let's flip it iJoy Capo 216 Dual Battery Squonker by iJoy. When I first saw this, before the G-Box came out, that's what I thought of. They are so similar. I know you can use the argument that it is dual battery and it is a squonker, so they're going to be similar because there's not really much leeway in a design to where you can make it any different. I get that. I do. I totally understand it. When you take this out of the box, it doesn't really look much like the G-Box at all. The picture that is on the box is what makes it look like the G-Box, not the device itself. On the top, nothing. On the side, got a warning. On the back of the box, this is what you got. Give you a freeze frame real quick is the first and smallest dual 2700 squonk kit. Okay, so there's a couple things I wanna say about this. First off, yes, and the reason being is because no one else has done a dual 2700 from China. There are people that have done it on the high-end market. It's not really something we've seen come out of China. So I definitely give them that, but there's not really much competition in that field because they're the only one in it. That's like saying I'm the best reviewer with the UTX-70 for vapes. Like, cl clearly, because I'm the only one that does that. Can you really consider yourself the best? Neither do they. They say first and smallest. Should have probably read that line before I said anything. I think they're supposed to say adapted. Environmentally friendly silicone and transparent ABS hard and soft combination. This is a win. iJoy always does this. They always include batteries, and I think that's some of the best shit that I've ever seen come from any manufacturer. The fact that you're giving me everything that I need to make this device work. I hope because it's the SRDA kit that it comes with coils and cotton. And if that's the case, the only thing you need when you buy this is juice. Scratch and sniff. I know you were looking for one because I was as well. This is going to be a cellophane pine needle, bark tree flavor scented and tastelessness. That's not the right word. There's a lot of the pine going on. Kind of reminds you of like a New York City taxi cab. You know, the kind that hangs from the mirror. That's exactly what that smells and tastes like. So let's see what's inside of the box. Plain white box, really nothing going on here. Really simple. There's not even any kind of label or anything on this box. So all your labeling is going to be on top of this little paper sleeve right here. Looks like something that Rainbow Bright and My Little Pony would make babies and this would be the uh, concoction of what would be left over. You can tell by looking at the top of this that it's not really similar to the G-Box. Front screen does have resemblances, but what else are you going to do? In iJoy's defense, as much as I want to rip this company apart, I feel their pain a little bit. I don't like where the fire button is on this, but we'll go over that very shortly. This is called the SRDA, which I believe sometimes Ronnie doesn't abide. Yeah, I did a review on this, so uh, that's definitely not the same thing. It's, I don't even know if you could rebuild this. It says RDA, so you would think that you can 
do the R part of it. I think this is one of those situations like Kangertech where you can replace the actual coils. You also get this extra stiff bottle. Comes with a little plug. These are ones that everybody hates, including myself. Extremely, extremely stiff. Some people actually prefer these bottles because they actually give you enough of back pressure to suck back versus something that's super soft that may not give you the same back pressure. Not a huge fan of that. Micro USB, self-explanatory. Plug it in, plug it in, it vapes, and you charge it. A manual and a warranty card. I'm not going to get into iJoy's warranty just because I don't like iJoy. Here's the deal with iJoy's warranty. I don't want to make, I don't want to drag this on about their warranty. I had an issue with one of their devices where the button got stuck. They did the right thing, but they may have done that because of the presence that I have online. Maybe they didn't. I'm not quite sure. I can tell you from firsthand experiences that people that I know that bought iJoy products, something went wrong with it and iJoy didn't do the right thing. I don't even think companies should have a warranty inside of the box anymore or the quality assurance because apparently that's gone. So what's the point of having a warranty if it wasn't even checked put shit in a box and what they should really do is just sell the box empty and just put a bunch of paper clips in it and then when you open it up you're just surprised but guess what you can't bring it back because the paper clips are open inside this little peripheral bag you have some extra stuffs what looks like to be the remnants of a q-tip a bunch of q-tips probably about half a box some o-rings then you have this little tool i looked at the thing and i was like okay i know what this is i know what it is it's not what i thought it was and you're probably wondering what it is i know everybody else here is wondering what it is so we're just gonna put this aside and i'll tell you what it is later not right now this apparatus that this comes with is actually used for the rebuildable section of the RDA. I would have never guessed that. I saw the holes at the bottom, but I didn't put two and two together. People used to say I was smart. I'm starting to second guess everybody else because I would have, I swear to God, I would have never figured that out. Here's the deal. Bree said that you put this shit in the airflow and then you open it. Why would you put that in the airflow? That's not what it's for. Well, why would you put this in the airflow? Well, if just, gets, just quick, okay, uh, okay, if it Reader's stuck, Digest. If it, gets, if it gets stuck, you stick yep. that inside the airflow and then yep. you can use it as torque. To get it off. Torque. Just like with the Chrome 3 key. Okay, guys, so this is a torque wrench. Um, what is the point of the little holes? Like the little nipples that stick off the top of the legs here. What's that for? It's part of the design. It's part of the design. Nuts. Even though this is called the SRDA, you're not really going to rebuild it. What you see is what you get. The same thing that you saw in the original drip box with the dripper that had the little replacement cartridges. Same situation here. This is going to unthread. I don't know why they're calling this an RDA. You can't rebuild it. Why wouldn't they come with an extra one of these? So I, Joy, you got me on the batteries. So I guess I will let this one slide. So those little holes you see right there, that's where this tool is for. Goes in here like so, and then you unscrew this just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that go. So not only can you do it the way Bree says, where you can adjust the airflow with it, you can also use it for what it's meant to be used for, and that's to unscrew the base. <laughs> Guys, don't sit there with this fucking tool and stick it in the airflow, because that's not... It, it. So you have the base, some little silicone plug, then you have the little rebuildable section. Now, this is where it may confuse you, because you can't actually rebuild this. These coils are soldered in, or something. I don't know what that is. Take a look at that. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so right here on the edges, these three spots, and then over here, what's parallel, same situation like little electrodes and take a look at the coils. They've got something going on here where they're kind of cornering the market like, oh, you want to rebuild your shit? No, it's not gonna happen. However, I will tell you guys this. Uh, I can't speak for any kind of Chinesium metals, so to speak, but what I can speak for is Canthal, Nichrome, you know, uh, Savandic wire, I think that's it. I, I want to sound more intelligent than what I am. But basically what happens here is you can take cotton outside of coils that you have already, and these coils could literally last you five years. I know that seems unrealistic, but it's true. As long as you take the cotton off and then you burn off anything that's residual on here, smokes up, stinks, you know, smells like burnt hair and baby poop, that's fine. That's totally normal. This will never look the same again because of all the sugars and the liquids or even, or even natural flavors may cause this to deteriorate. deteriorate. The, the sugars or the natural flaving, flavings. I challenge you right now to say that sentence without fucking it up. The sugars and the natural flavorings may cause this coil to de- Tear, Rio, 
eight. Not the right one. <laughs> the sugars and the natural flavorings may cause this coil to deteriorate over time. I got it. Nailed it. We are not going to be using this coil just for obvious reasons. So we're just gonna put that somewhere else. See, I'm taking care of my customers. She was over here gagging, right? I'm trying to do my video. So I do the right thing and I give her water, make sure she has a moist mouth so she doesn't gag while I'm doing the video. Cause you know how rude that is. So we got a Mercedes Benz symbol going on here on the top. There was a device that I did, the SIG 365, but it had little tracks in it and I didn't understand what it was. So basically I'm assuming that they're going the same route. The only issue is there is no runoff. This is probably just winging it. I'm thinking that once you have too much juice here, the juice is gonna kind of sit here in a little puddle. And you know, you're out and about, you run out of juice. All you do is you just tilt this and it goes right back in the dripper. 25 millimeters is gonna be absolutely no problem whatsoever. 30 millimeters is not going to fit on the top of that. However, 25 will. 510 is going to be very, very springy. However, it is very stiff. On the bottom of the mod, you see what they did here versus the G-Box. When you open it up, you lost everything right there. You hit this and you took the bottle out. Kind of looks like a three battery configuration. This is one of the problems that a lot of people had with the G-Box. And you can also modify it in such a way where you took the screws out, you cut the chamber so you could use a bigger bottle. I guess iJoy took it upon themselves to fix what they did not. To get these batteries out, there's this little thing. Push that in and flip it up. And then there's your access to your batteries. 2700s, by the way. And it does come with two brand new 2700s, so that's a win. Squonk door, right here. This kind of goes just like that. You squeeze it, it's a little stiff on the sides, and it has that infamous plunger that I hated so much. It's good that they made this independent. That's really nice. So all they did was basically fix what Geek Vape should have done to begin with. The fire button, though, is in an awkward position. So they're forcing you to fire it with your thumb and squonk with your thumb. Or you could fire it with your index finger and squonk with your ring. Either way, you have to do everything on one side of your hand versus on the G-Box if I could hold it, you fire like this, you squonk with this. That to me seems more natural. It's just a really big firing button and it's in a really awkward position. I guess if that's the way you would fire it, I, I don't know. Door on the top does not move whatsoever. I feel like iJoy is kind of redeeming themselves right now because I did not have the best experiences with this company whatsoever. Those are two batteries like that. Those are iJoys. Those are not the ones that have come with, but they're exactly the same. One, two, three. Nickel. Titanium, stainless steel, TCR. With this device, guys, there's no features. Up and down, simple. Oddly enough, that's all that it is. There's no way to even adjust the brightness. I've tried everything. Uh, 216, there it is. One, two, three, brings you this menu, which is self-explanatory. Your power, how that hits, and that's it. Unless there's a setting that I'm unable to see, there's no way to change anything. They made this mod as basic as possible while keeping this whole chameleon look going on, which doesn't really look terrible, but what do I know about colors? On the same token, usually their menu at least gives you the option to change in a screen timeout. You can't do anything. Basic is what you get here. So once again, that is the Capo 216. So let's bring it on the top. It's either that or my head got longer. But like the top of my head is cut off like a carrot. Back on top with the iJoy Capo 216 with a 502 sitting on the top of that. Yeah, I bet you never thought that would happen, right? The fact that iJoy came out with a new device that has no other functions aside from just vaping. It's a little awkward. I mean, especially at this day and age. Now, if you have something like a double barrel where it's supposed to be basic, it's supposed to be just like around the mill, here you go. Fine, but iJoy's always been known to at least have some other function. And squonk? The best squonking feature ever. I don't know if that bottle is ever going to decompress. We're gonna do this again, one more. Really nice ramp up time, really nice. I wish I could tell you guys about the RDA that it came with, it's just, there's no way. Once I took it apart, and once I got it back together, it wasn't working properly, so I just couldn't do it, so I had to throw it away. It's one of those drippers that I destroyed everything, so there's really no point in trying to figure it out to get it to work. The fact that iJoy is not allowing me to adjust the brightness of the screen, I feel is kind of unacceptable. I'm not holding iJoy to a certain standard, but I am. When you're making it as dark as this is with the curvatures and the facets 
assets that this has. There should be a way to adjust the brightness to where I can see it, but you can't. There's not even a fucking key lock on this. So that leads me to my next problem. If I fire it with my thumb, right, I won't run into the problem. Of course, I can't see what I'm vaping at, but why do you need to see that anyway? So we're just going to say it's thumb fire. It's good to go. It's rocking and rolling. It's a little unorthodox for me to reach with the same thumb to squonk, but it's feasible. Flip this around and fire with your index finger. What I find happens is I keep hitting the plus and minus button. Now, if you got some dainty ass hands and they're not like Mickey Mouse gloves, you should have no problems. But if you got some big old jammies, you're gonna be tapping the shit out that plus button. You're gonna be at 216 watts while you were trying to work on 12. I've tried everything and even looking at the manual, there's no way to do anything with this. How can you remove something that's a bare basic essential functionality of locking keys? Especially when I, if I fire it like this, I'm going to adjust it. Now you can be careful and hold it a certain way, but you don't wanna be careful while you're holding your mod for it to vape. You just wanna pick it up and you just wanna go. You know what I'm saying? I gotta hold this a certain way so shit doesn't flop about. Uh, I don't know, man. The suck back isn't as bad as it is as a super soft squishy, meaning it doesn't happen. Uh, you can't really hear a kick back though. Like, watch. See, see what I have to, I have to hold this a certain way. So I'm gonna squonk it, right? And that my, it's all the way in, let it go. You see? Oh, there it goes. Just still a little bit, a little jammy. If you can manage to get past the fact of the way that you have to fire this is very unorthodox, then you're probably going to like this device. I'll tell you what, I'm not a fan of this orange and blue situation I got going on here. It's just that that was the only option when I was buying it, so I got stuck with what it is. This is probably iJoy's nicest device. As much as that pains me to say and I would love to go outside and throw it up in the air and destroy it, I don't feel that it's worth it destroying if that makes sense i know everybody else wanted me to destroy another iJoy product but if something is good something is good i also like their pd270 i didn't think that was a bad device their capo series was just absolutely garbage but there's not really much of a series because there's a first one and a second one this is that much better and the facts the facts because if you're getting a fax right now in 2018 what company still uses fax I saw a business card the other day. There was a fax number on there. Why not just send an email? Take a picture with your phone and send it off. Fax? Oh, hell no. Especially with illegal documentation. I ain't faxing you shit. Fax? You Who has a landline anymore? When's the last time you picked up a phone and then you hit those little dials? I, I'm going too far back now. I'm going rotary style. Like where you got the horn to your ear and then you hold. I'm not that old, guys. Don't. <laughs> don't think I was a teenager calling people with a wind-up phone like the same <laughs> what what is that like it looks <laughs> what if I have a fan right now that's that old please contact me I I just want to discuss how the conversation went. I feel like you'd have better success having someone five miles away with a Campbell soup can and some shoestring attached to it and you had the other can and you guys were just shooting shit back and forth. That would be more successful than talking through a fucking horn that looked like you were trying to eat a big ass metal bugle. You know what Bugle is? Little chips? Okay, too far. The problem I have with giving this a really high rating is the way that you fire it. And again, that's not an aesthetic issue, that's a functionality issue. To fire it like this just feels weird. And firing it like this feels right, but then you have to, I, I don't know. It's something you have to get used to. I can't name another device that has the squonk bottle on the same side as the firing and the dripper. So you have the dripper, the fire button, and the squonk bottle all on the same side. Most mods, you know, you have a situation where you have a door that you can hit with an index or whatever, whether it be you fire it with your thumb and then you hit it with the ring finger over here. You can't do that with this. You're stuck with the way that this is. And that is the biggest fallback I have with this device. You should be able to adjust the brightness or some kind of setting because you can't really do much of anything with this. That's really what it boils down to is you have to get used to the way you squonk on this. And I feel that that's kind of instrumental because this is a squonk box mod. If you have to compare this to a G-Box, because I know there's going to be a lot of comparisons, keep in 
mind that they're two very different animals. If we're gonna compare this to a G-Box, the Squonka, the 200, I'd recommend this over that. However, I will tell you that it is gonna take a little bit for you to get used to if you're already squonking now and you're kind of using two different fingers. It's like muscle memory. You know, you get on a bike, you never forget how to ride that bike. When you get on a squonker, you never forget how to squonk. But if you pick this up, get used to this, and you pick somebody else's shit up, you're gonna be pressing the USB down, hoping that it's gonna squonk, and you're gonna be waiting for a long time. Because I don't know any press activated bike or USBs to squonk. I don't even think that's a thing. I don't think it's fair to compare just because one's an 18, one's a 2700. I just feel like they took the G-Box and just made it that much better. As far as the bottle's concerned that I thought was in the actual G-Box, I was incorrect. That is from the original Kappa 100. The half soft jammy, the bottle, isn't from the G-Box. It's actually from the 100 watt squonker where I went outside and went absolutely ballistic over it because I couldn't understand that 4.2 volt cutoff you would think that i would have looked up what the cutoff of this was i didn't i don't i pfft, forget it now i'm already done with the review figure it out put the stats on a link how would i rate this device on a zero to ten guys the only reason the only reason why i'm deducting points off of this is because of the configuration of the fire button and the squunk bottle I want to deduct a point or two off because I can't adjust the brightness, but I guess once you get used to it, it is what it is, and how often are you going to be looking at the screen when you're firing the device? At least give me some other kind of options. I know they can adjust the firmware to have those options. I really don't want to take any points away from that. I am going to take about a half a point away because of the metal tube that's in there but again a lot of companies are using that just because it's that much easier uh it does require a lot of maintenance but you can cut that and put your own bottle in don't want to get into that because i don't want you destroying your shit and holding me responsible for it it's really a good device man an eight an eight i i hate to give ijoy that high of a rating i i really do i would love to say like a three but in eight, there's not really many dual battery squonkers out there that are regulated, but I can tell you that if we're talking about Chinese manufactured, this is it. This is the number one device right now for dual battery. And the fact that it's 2700s, yeah, it just wins. I just hate that fucking squonk mechanism. It's so awkward to get used to. So if your question is whether or not to get this device, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a dual battery squonker. There's not a doubt in my mind. I know iJoy is gonna be happy about this. They're gonna give everybody the day off tomorrow. Like everybody's got off, everybody's off. Jay Hayes liked the device that we made. Everybody's off. It pains me so much in my side and in my groins and my loins, because I have more than one crotch, hurt when I give this an eight. But, huh? I've kept it real. Have you? Jay's up.